morning folks so today's video is a super important video with a lot of information to get through what I'm going to do is I'm going to front load that information at the start now whilst I'm in the car and we'll talk about the rest of it once I get to the venue the main announcement I have to make for now is that in November so this next month coming I'm going to move into winter opening times now that means from November through until around March 2019 I'm probably going to be only open for man you can probably count the number of times I'll be open on one hand right have I, have I got that in the bag it, it should be pretty straightforward but I've managed to cock it up a few times already it should be straightforward in that from November 2018 to March 2019 we're going to be on very very limited opening um, which should be super straightforward but I've managed to make a mess of it what it is is right now I'm feeling like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know like a friend that's got loads to tell you about and oh it's all really exciting and he's I'm really conscious that I'm just going to go blah, 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 and, and nobody's going to really be able to understand what I'm on about but um, I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to hold it down and uh, I'll try and explain in this next part of the video as best I can really without going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the question you might be asking yourself is Ben why are you moving to limited winter opening times now when in the past you've just stayed open as normal during the winter well the the overall theory of this is time and that's got a lot to do with it uh, how do we explain it so obviously during the winter um, it's dark in the mornings and it gets dark around four o'clock ish which reduces the time available for me to work because obviously I need to be able to see what I'm doing um, the other part of that is during the winter for the bike park all the focus it is all the focus actually just gets moved to maintenance excuse me just gets moved over to maintenance and uh, it's really maintenance heavy during the winter I mean I don't have to remind you guys watching this that I am the only person here and I'm the only person doing this the mountain bike industry seems to think that there's a bunch of me um, I keep getting emails saying hey nah guys or hey there nah team it's, it, it's just me you guys know that but um, for the winter that makes it really hard because if I'm focused on maintenance and making sure that I can be open every weekend that's actually all I'm doing I'm not moving things forwards or I'm not tackling the projects that I want to tackle uh, which brings us on to the second part I have got a couple of projects that I want to tackle these projects that I want to do are both very complex and very demanding of my time um, so much so that I'm having to move to these winter openings this time um, they split into kind of two main parts and uh, for the first part the easy way to explain it is to uh, let's talk about the things that you're probably kind of expecting the two projects that I want to do they sit within two sort of distinct project categories for now let's just call them category A and category B so in category A priority number one is I want to finish and complete Beggars Canyon I want to have it done ready to be running have my guys get up here and run it over a few times get the tyre marks in and solidify everything and have it ready for you guys to be able to ride in session in spring 2019 if you haven't heard me talk about the Beggars Canyon track before it sits right in with the NAR brand ethos it's going to be pretty much what you're expecting um, we've got through to Electric Landlady now and with this track it's kind of time to ramp things up a little bit more but we're also taking all of the core skills that you've learned across all of the tracks and just putting them all together making them a little bit more challenging so in this section of it now that I have tentatively laid up um, you'll be able to see over here let's just get you a little bit closer uh, there are about a, 
uh, not a third, we're about a quarter of the way down the track and where I've got some marker logs laid out you're going to have a gap into a berm that shoots you around the corner into a transition kicker and the transition kicker takes you into another gap that's going to be a decent sized one you're looking at about 18 foot on this now to put this into perspective this is one section a quarter of the way down of one track of a pretty hectic track there's going to be a lot going on on here a lot to build a lot of fun um, I'm really looking forward to it it's in itself it is an exciting project and I, I can't wait to can't wait to get it done but uh, yeah in in keeping with the traditions of now I've uh, I've gone ha can probably fit more than that in so we're calling Beggars Canyon priority one of section A of the big winter plan now in order to make things a little bit easier we'll label section A as the track building so the next question you're going to be asking yourself is what the hell am I doing all the way here right up at the top of Great Barrack Fell which is at the very very northern tip of the bike park and how does that relate to being three quarters of the way down Great Barrack Fell at the very very northern end of the bike park if we're calling section A track building and priority number one is to have Beggars Canyon open for you guys to ride in the spring of 2019 then priority number two is for me to build the biggest longest track I've ever done here at NAR currently this 900 meter monstrosity is under the working title of time attack that's probably subject to change I might keep it I don't know but in order to properly explain it to you I'm gonna to have to employ the use of an infographic so here's an overhead map view of the park itself most of you will be familiar with this green line it's the pathway that leads you from the car park up to the tops of the tracks uh, you'll see on the other green path that's the push-up track to get you up to the top as well now the one near the back fence here you'll be used to going up and you've probably also ridden down uh, it's a lot of fun it's quite, if at the end of the day when you're heading back to the car it's a pretty speedy run down and you know good crack if you can see at the back fence here there's an orange line now that orange line that runs all the way from south down to north on the back fence is the time attack track as you can see there's some yellow sections off it and then there's another down towards the bottom here purple section off they're going to take a little bit of explaining the main orange line you could think of that as a high speed line um, it's not it's going to have features on it it's not going to be featureless but they're not going to be huge and it's going to be all about going fast bumping and hopping and keeping your speed on the sections where it breaks off into yellow they're going to be opportunities to break off the main speed line and get some air they're going to have features on them down towards the bottom where it splits into three the purple line I'm going to put a jump on there that's going to lend itself to having a whip off championship so as you can see it's an absolute monster of a track and not only is it a super long track it's actually got three parts to it there's a lot of build work to do but it's going to be amazing I have to admit that I'm pretty hyped on the idea of these two new tracks coming in but I've also got to be realistic as well they're uh, although they are just there's two names of tracks coming in uh, as in Beggars Canyon and Time Attack might change to a different name I do have to realise that essentially it's a lot like building four really difficult tracks so Beggars Canyon is going to be the next level of skill up from Electric Landlady that means some quite demanding builds on the features it's going to be a feature packed track and uh, you know hey it's not an easy undertaking on top of that time attack has got one super long track and then it's got multiple branches off for putting features on for jumps now those aren't going to be huge huge things they're going to be ones that that most people can uh, can attempt and ride and the fun thing is going to be on that is is it faster to branch off hit the jumps and join back up 
or is it quicker to go through the technical stuff that's on the main line that's going to be an interesting one for when we get it done but then down towards the bottom which will be kind of running kind of running level with this car park bit i'm going to put in a really big feature um i'm not sure whether it'll be a gap a step up or even maybe a tabletop but i want to put something in that's big enough to do a whip offs on a future project a real big one um that'll be just be built so well and so mellow to hit that you can really get the bike sideways on it so there's yeah there's a lot that's a lot of building going on and i've got to be realistic that during the winter when i i know i've done this for two winters in the past all my time is just spent on maintenance and maintenance and maintenance and making sure that things are ready to open for the weekend what i'm doing is is kind of running to stay still i'll get to springtime and yes i've managed to be open all all through the winter but i haven't actually added anything to the park so that's the whole reason for these winter openings and I'm not going to be completely shut down and closed we'll do uh hey look out for the dates being announced on this but we'll do like um a christmas a christmas ride out because uh hey we all get on the chocolate and turkey a bit and uh need to have a ride out for that and hey we, we you know we get we get new bits of kit that we want to try out as well and uh in between there well not in between but dotted around We'll have some uh, bits and pieces of opening as well. If I do any dig days or anything like that, then there may be some private invitation only openings for the people that help me out with the dig days. If you've been on before, you'll know what we're talking about with that. And uh, yeah, I've got to realize that the smart thing to do is just to take the time to be able to get to spring 2019 with new stuff rather than just running around like a headless chicken just to kind of stay still if you know what i mean right well i've given you the score on what's going on the two new tracks that are coming in and uh, hopefully you're as excited as i am for spring 2019 and how much fun it's going to be i can't wait um and perhaps now you're thinking oh well you know Maybe this is where the video ends, but in true nah fashion, dude, that's not all I'm doing over the winter. I have got something else underneath my hat now. Again, in true nah fashion for very, very early sneak peeks and early information on things. I'll give you a bit of a hint, but I can't really go into it. The reason that I can't really go into it is because tonight, not tonight as you're watching this video but tonight for me as i'm filming this i'm uh, going to a meeting about this other project and uh, we're going to see what we can do what i'm going to do is a new part of na and something that i don't really honestly think i can achieve on my own um i've got a big book that i've got everything written down in and i can I can map it all out and I've got all the concepts for it but actually making it happen on my own alongside maintaining and building and running the park itself might just be a step too far um, although I've done a lot of things in uh, on my own um, that has given me the experience that do you know what in some things maybe it's a good idea to ask for help and uh, yeah man, I'm not trying to beat myself into the ground <laughs> but I'm also not trying to slow down on delivering new shit and new projects and new ideas so there's got to be a bit of a balance in there now, as I say, it's really hard for me to talk about it as we go through this winter, know this I'm not just going to disappear and then suddenly come spring go ah, check it out, look at these new tracks there is going to still be videos being made and uh, as I'm able to share more information about the new project with you, I, I certainly will. Um, yeah, I'm not going to just, yeah, that's quite important to, to, to state. I'm not going to disappear, there's a flag, get out. 
I'm not just going to disappear off of social media. I am going to be very busy, um, but I'm not going to just suddenly stop posting on Instagram, stop posting on Facebook, stop putting out videos. I am still going to be communicating with you over the winter um, and on this particular project I'll be able to communicate more and more as I get more solid evidence. Um, I've given a couple of hints, I've just thought about this, I've inadvertently given a couple of hints over the course of this video. Uh, hopefully that is my man saying that he is good to meet me tonight. Um, where the hell's my phone? Jesus Christ. This is what kind of week this is for me. Let me have a look. Oh yes. So, the meeting for tonight is on. Um, where was that? Yeah, so, given a couple of hints over the course of this video, uh, talking about the, uh, the, the working title for the track being called Time Attack, uh, and talking about things like putting on a whip off champs what i want to get into is events i want to see more things happening at the park now in typical nar fashion and like i did with the opening in the park i'm not saying i can do it better than anybody else that's not how it is all i'm saying is i've got my own ways and my own thoughts on how I might want to do things and I'd like to ultimately get them out there and share those different ways and different viewpoints and different thoughts on doing things with you guys the the end users and the riders at the end of the day so uh, yeah this isn't like a this isn't a bullshit thing about the rest of the race organizers in the country or the rest of the event organizers in the country going, all right, I think you're doing it wrong and I could do it better. It's not that, it's just, I would do things differently. Not necessarily better, just differently. So, uh, yeah, that's what tonight, I'm really, I'm fucking pumped. I'm really excited about this. Uh, and I can't wait to get to this meeting tonight and see if my man can help me out and come on board with this because uh, yeah with two of us at it then uh, it well it'll make it so much more achievable um so yeah wow long video i'm i haven't even begun to get into the editing of this now i appreciate that if you've stuck with me this far thank you so much and thanks for your time and your attention um i want to keep things open i've always tried to do this i want to keep things open and honest with you and let you know what's going on and not like have a it's not a, i don't want to have like behind the scenes videos i've said this years ago i've been making these flaming things for like three years and i've said this all along i don't want there to ever be a behind the scenes because i want that just to be the norm it's always that i'll i'll just fucking tell you how it is and tell you what i'm thinking and tell you what i'm doing um i don't want to hide anything from you why it's not, that's not fun, is it? Um, so yeah, the only reason that I can't go into the event stuff right now is because literally at seven o'clock tonight, I've got to meet up with him and start bashing it out. I've got all these ideas and all these thoughts in a big book, and I'm sure that somebody else with a mo much more sensible head than me is gonna sit there and go, dude, like 50% of this is achievable. Um, okay, well, they're all really good ideas, so 50% of them will be mint. I'm happy, I'm happy at that. Um, but yeah, I just can't, I can't give you all the crack on it right now because I don't have all the crack, it's as simple as that. Uh, so where we're at now is we've got the last couple of weekends in October and you know, hey man, I'm here, I'm at the, at the cabin. If you've got any questions about this, you know the score, just have the crack with us, I'll, I'll tell you as much as I can. As far as uh, swapping over to winter goes, yeah, we'll we'll stop the the standard every weekend at the end of this month and from November onwards, it'll be sporadic. Um, there'll be bits and pieces. I don't want to say that I'm just not going to open, because where's the fun in that? Uh, but I am going to give myself 
a fighting chance at getting everything that I want to do done and look man I work seven days a week the honest truth is with all the maintenance during the winter time I'm, uh, I'm just unable to deliver the stuff that I want to see happen so uh, yeah instead of getting like I've said earlier in this video I'm probably repeating myself now but I don't want to get to spring 2019 and go ah shit I've run around like an idiot just keeping the place open and I haven't done the things that I wanted to do so this time this year it's about swapping things out and actually doing the things that I want to do and getting to March April 2019 and going yes check it out here's the new shit that I wanted here so apologies for the length of the video and as usual tired ass me um, has probably rambled a little bit and that was unintentional I do apologize for that and again thanks very much for your time I'll see you soon